we're going to feel the loss. We will truly feel the loss. New at 11, a northern Kentucky staple gone. For the first time, we are hearing from the mayor of Bromley after a popular restaurant and bar sinks into the Ohio River. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Craig McKee. And I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Tonight, the Ludlow Bromley Yacht Club is a total loss. A barge slammed into it. The future of the business is now in limbo. Yeah, you can see everything behind us here right now. The Coast Guard is still investigating what caused this crash, and we just checked the Ohio River remains closed in that area. Crews will continue cleaning up debris in the morning, and tonight we are told this investigation could take weeks. You can really see the difference from the air. See this picture on the left? That shows the Yacht Club before the crash. The picture on the right is the aftermath. Chopper 9 has this exclusive view of the damage as well. You can see the barge ripped from the floating restaurant from its dock there and just dragged it right up the river. Nine on your side, Jake Rob was the only reporter in tonight's Bromley City Council meeting. He spoke with the mayor about the impact that this loss is going to have on the community. Jake. And guys, it's going to have quite an impact. We've seen several cars just slowing down on the road right outside of the Yacht Club just to kind of take everything in still in a bit of shock. But for many in many ways, this area, this whole bar was really the heart and soul for both Ludlow and Bromley. And I, I had a chance to speak with the Bromley mayor. He says he is willing to do whatever it takes to get this business back afloat. It was Ludlow and Bromley's oasis. You got down there, it just felt like you got away from all your everyday hassles. A place Bromley Mayor Mike Denham has grown up around for 35 years. I'd go down there for boating. Me and my wife go down to eat dinner maybe once or twice a week. It's such a huge, great place to go for the whole community. At 6 a.m. Wednesday. Mike, it's bad, it's really bad. It's been wiped out, it's all gone. Denham got the call. To see that, that, that final destruction, I just, it's, it's just hard to comprehend. A barge slammed into the floating restaurant and bar. It's the closest bar to Bromley, now at the bottom of the Ohio River. It kind of identifies us because I go places and I'll say, you know little Bromley? Oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly where it's at. They might not know Bromley, city of Bromley, because they drive by here so quick. He's reached out to Steve Gott, the yacht club's owner, to let him know his neighboring city is there. I just hope to God that they has enough energy to bring it back because if that don't come back, we're losing we're losing something precious that either Ludlow or Bromley has not had. Across the street, Gott owns another bar in Ludlow, the Lagoon Saloon. One way you can help him is go visit him, you know, go spend some money. Denham knows it will take time for the seasonal yacht club to reopen. A piece of the heart of these river communities now gone. Come summer, oh, it's going to be disheartening that we can't walk over the street, sit on the river, you know what I mean, watch the boats. Now we also have reached out to the owner, Steve Gott, to, with the Yacht Club to find out a little bit more information. We have yet to hear back. As soon as we do, we'll be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com. Reporting live tonight in Ludlow, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.